There is a video, the, the video that I want to watch the most today. It's too late for Deviate Delight. I need to give you some context here for the people who are not following what is happening in Sol in Classic Era. Basically, lately, the Classic Andes uh, really wanted to have a fresh classic experience again. Basically, they wanted Blizzard to refresh one of the realms and basically start all over again. Uh, Blizzard, of course, didn't do that. And what the community did, they went to this server called Deviate Delight and they started leveling their characters there. And they said to themselves, we're gonna do phase one like that. First to Nixia, first this boss, classic experience. But that was done like two weeks ago. And this video was released like seven days ago. And this guy is claiming that it's too late for Deviate Delight. I want to see what this guy is gonna say. There are rumors of classic making a return. So I had to make a character myself. And I said, fuck it, I'm making a warlock. I promise it's because it's a great PvP class. But you might be thinking, Snort, we've all done this before. Why would you do it again? And the answer's simple. Sod's looking pretty dog shit, to be honest. But also, open world. How to say this? Do you see a problem with this video? I see a problem. Why do I need to zoom into this pixelated shit that much? We continue. For PvP. Yeah, Kale, you don't want that fucking smoke for home. Yeah, bro. Okay, time out. Payo's really fucking good. Dude, why are you zooming so much, my man? Okay, all jokes aside, I thought you guys might enjoy the little edited clip against Peyo. But let's be honest, who wants to play Cataclysm? Like, like Cata suck. I play Cataclysm. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. I have a whole guild that plays Cataclysm. In fact, you can join my guild. We're playing in EU Farmo. You're welcome to join me yourself, little gnome. And this is why I'm enjoying so much classic Deviate Delight right now. I mean, look at this fight against a stupid mage. Hey, yo, cut on who? Why are you always playing classes that just die in rot? I hate it, bro. Where's the balance? And so this takes me to the question, should you be playing Deviate Delight? I mean, if you... Okay, this is the question. We're 1 minute and 11 seconds in, and he's finally asking the question, should we play Deviate Delight? He's a Cataclysm hater. He's a retail hater. Classic Era Andy. Should we play Deviate Delight? Should we go to Classic Era and level up a character and show them all? You want to destroy Horde players like me right now? Come join us, dude. I think there's plenty of space here. And what I will say, one of my favorite parts about this, not, not... He said that we should join him. But on the contrary, I think you should join Cataclysm and come into my guild, sir. You're losing nothing. There is plenty of space for everyone. Just like, you know, uh, destroying enemy players, you know, like... God damn, I can't control my body. What is going on? What is happening? It's that you get to get familiar with players. Like, these guys know my name in the hood right now. Like, the destroy... Uh, <laughs> uh, this guy is well known in the Deviate Delight. Like, there are like 10 people that are constantly fighting each other, but and they all of them are knowing his name. Anglethorn Hood, the streets of the Gorabashi Arena. Right now, they're ringing snort all throughout the streets, all through Gen Chat. Like, what do you think is going on? They have a hit out for me. Like, these guys hate me. And so think about it, before you join Deviate Delight, think really, really hard. Think really closely about what faction you want to join. Like, I'm going to be on Alliance playing Warlock, and I got to tell you, I think I made the right choice. I have been genuinely enjoying myself, you know? I've played enough Season of nice. Discovery to be fighting against Paladins. No, now I want to take on Shamans, like this guy Jinx. You know, show him how it's done. And he thinks I'm... So this is a PvP montage. This dude is is giving me a good perspective. Stupid. Like I know he has a honk. Like who else is just gonna stand there? So I get behind the tree and he lets me drink and summon my pet and pretty much get a full reset. So I'm like, alright, whatever. I'm gonna go finish off this mage. And the mage did the same thing, so you already know I hit the mage with the triple dot here and then I go immediately for the fear. The fact that he didn't counterspell me is definitely a big mistake. So Okay, I, I can be thinking a lot how to present WoW in a different way. 
that is interesting for the viewers. And I can tell you right now that this is not an interesting way to do PvP edit. It's hitting me pretty hard. I'm in a full glass cannon build. I make sure to go ahead and re-pressure back in and continue to drain life. I want to heal. Like, if you want to do a quality PvP video, to do commentary, it's not gonna cut it, in my opinion. Focus on the bitrate to be good. As much as possible. So then I health stone, I try to reposition and then... All I'm gonna say is that the normal player who is not playing well, they don't know where to look. And you, as an editor, it's, if you want to do something good, I think, in my opinion, you should do a lot of editing and you should accent on the things that are happening on the screen. Just concentrating on the action. Then I realize right here, I think I start DRing him. So take a look at this. He actually pops a huge health potion right there, followed by another fire blast cone of cold, and then he's fully immune to fear here. Did he say something okay. else? I'm absolutely ready. I have a soul stone ready to go. We just finish him off. Let's just say crazy. something That's else. Do it, so, of course, this stupid shaman thinks like, "Oh, it's time to unk. I'm gonna go run in there." Yeah, you're too late, you dummy. Like, this is how this is how bad the competition is. Like, like you're basically not too late. There this whole video's idea was for him to invite players into Deviate Delight so he can stomp on them. Guys, is my content the same? I feel like it's the same, more or less. But to look at all these positive comments. Look at this PvP inspires me to play Kata. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. I started to think that my latest video is like that. But my latest video is trying to tell a story. My Iron Man journey. It's just not... It's, it's not a commentary how I'm beating mobs. But I'm... I don't know. It's a little bit sad. Anyway.